two parallel universes inside the Eurovision arena, Israel makes it through to tomorrow's grand final, a seemingly politics-free zone. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside, politically charged scenes in Malmö, Sweden, as thousands protest at the decision to allow Israel to perform while the war in Gaza continues. In Palestinian, it's horrible what's happening just now in Gaza, children, women, uh, and everyone are dying. We need to end this genocide, basically. So this is the only thing we can do. Israel's entry, Eden Golan, has been booed by some during her performances this week. Despite facing death threats, the singer says she's determined to compete. Representing us with pride and making it to the finals is it's it's something crazy and I'm so grateful for everyone who voted. While Eurovision remained adamant that the contest is apolitical, that didn't stop Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sending this message saying the singer was competing with an ugly wave of anti-Semitism. <laughs> Across Europe, some have chosen to boycott this year's Eurovision, among them one of the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race, Crystal. The performer has cancelled an 800-person event here at London's Earth venue. If you're involved in an invasion of another country, you shouldn't get to come to the party. Uh, I think that's a red line and, you know, we're seeing so many civilians killed right now, it's really impossible to watch. Um, I refuse to let my, you know, cultural institutions be used as cover for that. Eurovision argue that this is an apolitical event. Are you not kind of creating further division in what is a very complex situation? Well, I would just reject the idea that Eurovision is apolitical. Uh, I think politics are baked into the format. It's a voting competition between different countries in Europe. Ukraine has won multiple times with songs about Russia. Russia has been kicked out of the competition when they invaded Ukraine. So um, there have always been political choices. <laughs> While Ireland's entry Bambi Thug has called for an immediate ceasefire and was asked to remove the words Free Palestine from their outfit. It was very important for me because I am pro-justice and pro-peace. Um, unfortunately, I had to change those messages today to crown the witch only. Polarisation here could not be more stark, from the glitter inside the venue to outside, where aid for Gaza was seen leaving Malmö, Sweden. No amount of Europop can mask the masses outside. The sound of protest drowning out Eurovision officials, who argue the contest isn't political. Thousands beg to differ.